Welcome back, peeps. My name is Chad Wilson from Simple Cloudware, and today we are going to talk about tables. Okay, let's first start off with a general outline of what a table is. So the table was introduced in HTML 3.2 and it is made to display data. And it displays data in a grid similar to Google Sheets or Microsoft Excel. This is only display only though, you don't get the functionality. When it was initially uh, introduced, that's exactly what we did. However, it was expanded to create layout. This was a huge advantage because uh, initially back in HTML3, there was no way to create a layout for a page. So this fit the gap nicely, but it was outside of the scope of what it was actually for. So now with uh, HTML4 and then moving forward, they created a better pattern that was layout focused. So let's jump in and look at the tags and how you format a table. So when we go over here, we can see that a table of course has a table tag and we can see here we've included a class which we are going to go over later, but let's, let's go over the fundamentals of a table first. So we have the table tag and inside the table tag, you'll see that we have four main components. The first one is this call group. And what this gives you the ability to do is column specific functionality. And here you see that we've set a class on here called uh, column color. The second one is T head. And what this is, is a type of row, which you include the header row, which has particular names per column. The third one is the T body. And what this is, is the actual body of your table. So this is all the different rows that are not head or footer for that matter. And then the fourth is this TR, and this stands for a table row. And this table row consists of TDs, which are table columns. And this is kind of the meat and potatoes of where you're going to be putting all of your data. It'll be in rows and columns. And there can be as many rows as you would like with as many columns as uh, needed to display the data. One thing you want to keep in mind that you really don't want your tables to get too wide where a normal browser won't be able to display it or you'll have to do horizontal scrolling, let's say on a tablet or a phone. You want to keep your columns to a visible number. And, and I've seen quite a few rows that, that can go and scrolling rows is much more natural. So that's the basic structure of a table. Now, one of the things that we want to get into here is it's very important to be able to colorize and call out particular pieces of a table because uh, the reason you have a table is to simplify the display of data. So we're going to do that by using CSS. So if we go back up to our table tag, you can see that it has a class table color. So how does this actually colorize the table? Well, if you click over here to this SCSS file, you will see here that we have a table color piece of CSS. And when you're dealing with classes, you put a dot in front of that. And here you can see up here, we have table THTDs, which dictate how to display the border that's going around it. So here we're just doing a classic one pixel solid black border and the border collapse means that it'll just be a single line. And then on this TH, you can see we have a padding of 10 pixels because we don't want the text to run straight up to the line in between the cells. And then the, the one we originally started talking about, the table color, we can see it is just white. And if we click back over here to the HTML, we can see if we go down here a little bit, we have a column color, and then we can go back to our SCSS and see that there's a column color of light gray and then back to HTML. And we can see 
we have a row color highlight. And if we come back over here to the CSS file, we can see that this row highlight has a background color of yellow. And so why is all this so important? Well, it gives you the ability to separate your titling from your actual content. And we can see that with kind of the light gray for the columns. And it gives you the ability to highlight a particular row. And then also with the table color, here we have it on white because this is gonna reside on a light blue background. So we wanna make sure that text in the table is easy to read. Hit that subscribe button so people just like you can find this video and please comment below to join the community. And remember, keep your head in the cloud.